I want to explain the difference between an easy starter and a regular starter. Now what I'm working with is a Chinese chainsaw clone. These are Zenoa clones called Model 5200. They're often labeled from 45cc up to 75cc, but they're all 52cc. They call, most of them will come with a regular starter. This is a regular starter. If you look sideways, you can see the rope just seats in that pulley. You can tell the thickness is not very thick. I've reinforced this because these have a tendency to break. Now here is the easy start. You can see the pulley is much thicker, almost twice as thick. It's a little bit bigger round. It's heavier and, and by far thicker than the other than the other uh, mechanism. It's a completely different shape. So if you look at these, and I got I got fooled with the first one I bought on eBay. They had pictures, and the picture did not show this pulley. The picture showed this pulley, and begosh be golly, when it came, it was the non-easy start. So I paid a premium price for a non-easy start. They eventually refunded my money. Uh, the easy start goes on the same way all do. You just have four screws that you have to replace. I strongly recommend an easy start because when you pull these, you don't have that jerking motion when the when the, the piston hits as each time it turns, you pull it all the way out, the spring loads, and then it turns the uh, motor. And, and whatever you do, don't drop start using these. It can be too hard on them. So that's it. That's an easy start, a good upgrade on any chainsaw, whether it be a Chinese chainsaw or, uh, or a Husqvarna or anything. If you can get an easy start on it, it's great if you have shoulder, elbow, uh, neck, back problems. Like and subscribe.